recently, I had my first ever experience of uh, the famous UGC, the Union de Grand Chateau tasting in Bordeaux. And um, the whole point of this circus is to taste the new vintage um, that has just been made from the year prior to the event. So this year in 2008, we were tasting the 2007 wines, which have been fully fermented, just probably been put into barrel, in some cases have been blended for the final sort of final time before they then get put into barrel, aged out for 18 to 24 months, and then bottled. And of course, the point is, is to try and establish how the vintage, uh, and that is the point really, I suppose, from uh, the time when the, the, the vine starts to, um, starts to bud to the point where the grapes are harvested, um, how the vintage has impressed itself upon the final wine made. And, you know, it's amazing because so much speculation, myth, hyperbole is, uh, is spent on, on, you know, on these, on these wines in Bordeaux. 2005 vintage was awesome. It was one of the greats. 2006 was a good vintage, um, you know. But I find it difficult to sort of sum up, uh, you know, a, a vintage in such a broad area with such a broad range of styles and, and, and philosophies and uh, terroirs and great varieties. Um, we're just saying, oh, it's a good vintage or it's a bad vintage or it's a dilute vintage. So anyway, listen, here are a few facts, okay? The longest ever hang time for a grape. The flowering was in uh, early June, harvest tended to be late September, early October, about 130 days. Normally you'd expect flower to harvest to be 100 days. It's the longest time in history. Awful, 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 June, July, mid-August. Cloud, rain, terrible, but then saved by this unbelievable sort of long Indian summer that helped the wines to develop finesse. If you picked early, you didn't get the finesse, but you probably got a light, simple wine. If you picked late, towards the end of September, you probably got a wine that had more phenolic ripeness, more complexity, and then if you chose to really extract your wines, you know, soak the skins with the must, really ferment, crush, you know, just mix up as much as you can and really over-extract your fruit, then you could probably make a really dark, really intense wine. The point is, there's huge variation, and this is a vintage where people who like um, big, over-extracted wines, Parker wines maybe, uh, will find stuff they like. People who like elegant, restrained wines will find wines they like. And people who like wines in the middle will find something they like. What you won't find are wines that will be um, fantastic in 20 years' time. But nevertheless, most of the wines still have fantastic acidity. Tannins varied from ripe to slightly green. And then, you know, uh, the fruit. Well, the fruit was either there or it wasn't, depending on who you were and what you did. It was a vineyard manager's Vintage, I think, would be the best way of putting it. However, white wines, awesome. Sweet wines, pretty great. Uh, Pomerol, Saint-Emilion, I tasted some great wines. I tasted some really dilute, average wines. Medoc, some interesting things. Um, I didn't particularly like Mouton. I thought they'd over-extracted. But I really liked Lafitte. I thought it had massively complex um, uh, tannins, and I thought it had real finesse. It was a real uh, keeper. Lots of people have got different things to say. You can look at Jancis Robinson, Stephen Spurrier, um, Stephen Brook, uh, uh, um, Robert Parker, and they will all give you their own opinion on what they think of the vintage. But I suggest that you wait, taste the wines, see what you think. I would say this, though. From my personal point of view, I found it interesting that some producers were only giving you the Van de Goot. That's the wine that hasn't had the press wine added to it with lots of structure. So you didn't get the final wine. And I'd also say about the 07 vintage and any, any sort of tasting that happens three months after the vintage, that wine's got to spend 12 to 24 months in barrique before it's finished. It probably isn't blended properly yet. It probably isn't formed yet. It hasn't had the chance to come into its own yet. So, you know, you really shouldn't, it's like you really shouldn't judge a wine so quickly. Just look at the bare basics. Yes, there was good acidity. I thought the tannins were in some parts ripe, in some parts underripe, and I thought that in terms there was light, simple fruit. My top picks, Chateau d'Armillac, uh, Chateau Duat, uh, Mion, Chateau Ferrand-Segur, Picastera, in lovely little estate in Haute-Médoc, 
Lango Barton, awesome. Petit Mouton, very good. Um, I thought Tetra Red Berth was probably, for me, the wine of the vintage. Le Pain will be a good wine, I think. Vieux Chateau Certain, fantastic in Pomerol. Um, but I really think that if you get a chance, uh, go, go and find yourself some Picastera from Hope Medoc.